In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Mac computer to your Epson 2930. And I'll also show you how to print and finally how to get the scan results from your printer directly on your Mac using Wi-Fi. So the first step is to connect your Epson printer on the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac. And for this, we need to go on the control panel right over here. So the first step is to press the home button on the display, I mean, on the control panel over here. You're gonna have 12 different options. You see, this is one out of 12. You need to use the left and right arrows to navigate. Okay, press on it until you see Wi-Fi setup. It's page 12 out of 12. Once you see this, press OK. Next, we're going to select Wi-Fi recommended. Press OK. Again, OK. And now select Wi-Fi setup wizard. It's one out of three. Press OK. Wait a few seconds. The printer will now search for all the different networks that are around it. Okay, and now you're going to get a list. Go up and down using the up and down arrows. You can see all the Wi-Fi networks that it has found. And one of them should be yours. Once you see yours, select it by pressing OK. And now type the password. If your Wi-Fi password has numbers or characters, different characters like symbols, you need to go over here where it says A1 hashtag and you're going to get capital letters if you click more on it you're going to get numbers and symbols so go ahead and type the password and at the end select ok and press ok then on your mac you're going to go on the top left corner and click on the apple logo select system settings on the left side of this new menu that just opened you're going to go down and select printers and scanners it's almost the last option right here. You're going to select add printer, scanner or fax on the lower right side. A window will appear and you should see your Epson printer in this list. In my case, WF2930. Select it. Okay, make sure it's highlighted in blue and then press the add button on the lower right side. If you don't need a fax machine, select not now and the printer will be added over here. Now, if you want uh, to scan a document, let's start by doing this. You can input your paper in two different places. The first one is the scanner glass over here. Let me show you how it works. So to input a document, you simply have to put it facing down with the top part of your page towards the right side. You're going to notice there is an arrow here. You simply need to drag the corner of your paper until it touches the arrow of the printer. Then close down the lid and you'll be good to go. If you have multiple pages you would wish to scan at the same time, this printer has an automatic document feeder on the top. So you're going to remove this page. Let's say I have two of them. Here we go. Well, I will align them. I'll place them with the printed side facing up and I will glide them uh, with the top part of the page towards the left. Just like that. You're going to hear a beeping sound. Simply means that the printer knows that there is a paper inserted there. On your Mac computer, you're going to find your printer in this list. So mine is over here, 2930. Click on it and then select Open Scanners. On the left side, select your printer again. Wait a few seconds and it will give you a preview of what's on the scanner. Okay, on the flatbed scanner. In my case, as you remember, I didn't put any documents out there. All the documents are located on the top over here. So I won't get any previews, but that's not important. Then you have a few different options over here. So under scan mode, select document feeder if your pages are up there. If not, keep it at flatbed. And you have a bunch of different settings you can change, including color or black and white, resolution, the higher the number, the more details you will get. Over here we have the paper size. In my case, it's a US letter size, so I'll not change it. 
scan to you can select any folders on your Mac where you want the results to go in you can give this scan a new name no matter what and format format is quite important if you have multiple pages you're trying to scan and combine them in one single document you need to select PDF and then make sure that combine into single document is checked finally press the scan button and the scanning will begin if you have select top, top document feeder, the printer will take the documents one after another. If you want to print anything from your Mac, it's very easy. Open the document, go on the top and select file, print. From here, all you have to do is to make sure that under printer, your printer WF2930 is the one selected. Make sure the other settings are okay as well and select print. Extend the output. And here are the results. So this is it. I hope this was useful. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.